Manoj Kumar born Giri Goswami on the 24th of July 1937 is an Indian actor and director in Bollywood He is remembered for his films Hariyali Aur Rasta Wo Kanti Himalaya Ki God Mine Dubadan Upkar Pathar Ke Sanam Neel Kamal Purab Aur Pasham Roti Kapda Aur Makan and Kranti He is known for acting in and directing films with patriotic themes and has been given the nickname Bharat Kumar in 1992, he was honoured with the Padma Shri by the Government of India. India's highest award in cinema, the Dadasaheb Phalke Award, was bestowed upon him in 2015. <laughs> Early life Kumar was born in Abbottabad, a town in the northwest frontier province, Pakistan, then part of pre-partition India. His original birth name was Harakishan Jiri Goswami. When he was 10, his family had to migrate from Jandiala Sher Khan to Delhi due to the partition. His family lived as refugees in Vijay Nagar, Kingsway Camp and later moved to Old Rajendra Nagar area of New Delhi. After graduating from Hindu College, University of Delhi, he decided to enter the film industry. Career. As a youngster, he admired Dilip Kumar, Ashok Kumar and Kamini Kaushal and decided to name himself Manoj Kumar, after Dilip's character in Shabnam 1949. .After making a little-noticed debut in fashion in 1957, Manoj landed his first leading role in Kanch Ki Gudia opposite Sahida Khan. Pia Milan Ki Aas and Reshmi Rumal followed, setting the stage for the Vijay Bhatt-directed Hariyali Aur Rasta 1962 opposite Mala Sinha. Kumar then appeared with Sadhana in Raj Khosla's Wo Kanti 1964, and reunited with Vijay Bhatt and Mala Sinha in Himalaya Ki God Mine 1965. Manoj Kumar and Raj Khosla repeated their successful actor-director partnership with the film Du Badan, which was remembered for many reasons, including Raj Khosla's direction, Manoj Kumar and the heroine Asha Parekh's excellent display of histrionics, an outstanding musical score by Ravi and immortal songs by the lyricist Shaquille Badayuni, among others. In the 1960s his successful films included romantic films like Honeymoon, APNA Banaki Deko, Nikli Nawab, Pathar K. Sanam, Sajan and Sawan Ki Gata and social films such as Shadi, Grihasti, Apni Hu Pariye, Pechan and Admi and thrillers such as Gumnam, Anita, and Wo Kanti. <laughs> the Patriotic Hero Kumar's image as the patriotic hero started with the 1965 film Shaheed, based on the life of Bhagat Singh, the independence revolutionary. After the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965, Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri asked him to create a film based on the popular slogan J. Jawan J. Kisan Hail the soldier, hail the farmer. The result was Kumar's magnum opus and directorial debut Upkar 1967. In it, he played both a soldier and a farmer. The film was also noted for the famous song, Mir Desh Ki Dardi, written by Gulshan Bara, composed by Kalyanji Anandji and sung by Mahendra Kapoor. Upkar was a hit and won Kumar his first Filmfare Best Director Award. Manoj returned to patriotic themes in Purab Aur Pasham, in which life in the East and West are juxtaposed. In 1972, he starred in Biaman for which he won the Filmfare Best Actor Award and directed and starred in Shore 1972. The latter, opposite Nanda, was not a huge box office success on its release, but has gained cult status over the years. It featured the memorable song, Ek Pyar Ka Nagma Hai, a duet by Lata Mangeshkar and Mukesh, which was composed by Lakshmikant Piarelal and written by Santosh Anand. Later career 
In the mid 1970s, Kumar starred in three hit films: Roti Kapta Aur Makan (1974), which was a social commentary, featuring an all-star cast including Zeenat Aman, Shashi Kapoor, and Amitabh Bachchan, that won him his second Filmfare Award for Best Director. Sanyasi (1975) had Kumar and Hema Malini in the lead roles of a religious-themed comedy, and Deuce Numbri (1976) also gave Kumar and Hema top billing. In 1981, Kumar reached the peak of his career when he got the opportunity to direct his idol, Dilip Kumar, as well as star in Kranti, a story about the struggle for Indian independence in the 19th century. Kranti was the last notable successful film in his career. He also starred in the hit Punjabi film Jat Punjabi. After Kranti, Kumar's career began to decline in the 1980s as all of his subsequent films failed at the box office. In 1989, he cast Pakistani actors Muhammad Ali and Zeba in his film Clerk. He quit acting after his appearance in the 1995 film Maiden E. Young. He directed his son, Kunal Goswami, in the 1999 film Jai Hind which had a patriotic theme. The film was a flop and was the last film Kumar worked on. That year he was awarded the Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award for a career spanning over 40 years. His trademark hand covering the face was very popular and continues to be the butt of jokes of latter-day stand-up comedians. In 2007, the Shah Rukh Khan film Om Shanti Om featured the lead character pretending to be Manoj Kumar so as to sneak into a movie premiere, by holding his hand over his face. Kumar filed a lawsuit, which was settled out of court. Politics. Like many other Bollywood stars, Kumar decided to enter politics following his retirement. Before the 2004 general election in India, it was announced that he had officially joined the ranks of the Shiv Sena. Personal life Manoj Kumar is married to Shashi Goswami originally from Jodhkan, Sursa district, Haryana. He has two sons, Vishal and Kunal. Vishal tried his luck as a singer and Kunal as an actor. His brother, Rajiv Goswami, also entered the film industry, but none were able to gain a footing in Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Awards Civilian <laughs> 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 Award 1992 Padma Shri by the Government of India Topic National Film Awards 1968 National Film Award for Second Best Feature Film for Upkar 2016 Dadasaheb Phalke Award Lifetime Contribution to Indian Cinema Topic State Awards 2008 National Kishore Kumar Award by the Government of Madhya Pradesh 2010 National Raj Kapoor Award by the Government of Maharashtra Topic <laughs> Filmfare Awards Winner 1968 Filmfare Best Movie Award for Upkar 1968 Filmfare Best Director Award for Upkar 1968 Filmfare Best Story Award for Upkar 1968 Filmfare Best Dialogue Award for Upkar 1972 Filmfare Best Actor Award for Baiman 1972 Filmfare Award for Best Editing for Shore 1975 Filmfare Best Director Award for Rodi Kapta Aur Makan 1999 Filmfare Lifetime Achievement Award nominated 1968 Filmfare Best Actor Award for Upkar 1969 Filmfare Best Supporting Actor Award for Admi 1973 Filmfare Best Director Award for Shore 1975 Filmfare Best Movie Award for Rodi Kapta Aur Makan 1975 Filmfare Best Actor Award for Rodi Kapta Aur Makan 1976 Filmfare Best Actor Award for Sanyasi
Topic Other awards 1968 BFJA Awards, Best Dialogue for Upcar. 2001 Kalakar Awards for Lifetime Achievement. 2008 Star Screen Lifetime Achievement Award. 2009 Falk Ratna Award by the Dadasaheb Falk Academy. 2010 Lifetime Achievement Award at the 12th Mumbai Film Festival. 2012 Lifetime Achievement Award at the Aspara Film and Television Producers Guild Award. 2012 Lifetime Achievement Award at the Nashik International Film Festival. 2012 Bharat Gaurav Award in New Jersey, United States. 2013 Lifetime Achievement Award at the Jagran Film Festival. Topic: Other Honors. 2008 To honor Manoj Kumar, the government of Madhya Pradesh decided to institute a 100,000 rupees award in his name. The state government also recommended Kumar's name for Bharat Ratna to the central government. 2011 In recognition of the devotion of Manoj Kumar towards Sri Sai Baba, the Sri Sai Baba Sansthan Trust in Shirdi renamed Pimpalwadi Road in Shirdi as Manoj Kumar Goswami Road. <laughs> Selected filmography <laughs>